everybody welcome back to my channel um what am i gonna say i have not vlogged in three weeks so i don't know what to say to you i'm a little bit awkward and on edge um so if you watched last week's vlog which i haven't filmed yet so i don't actually know what i'm gonna say to you about that but if you've watched last week's vlog, then you will know that Afi is moving house. So I'm slightly apprehensive about it because if you followed me on Instagram three years ago, um, you will know that Afi moving yards has always been quite stressful. Uh, the first yard that I had her at was my old boy's yard. Well, it's not old. Cicero's yard. Um and it was amazing. I absolutely love it there. But Affy, it just didn't suit Affy. Um, she was jumping out all the time. She was quite stressed in her stable. It was very, very sweet yard, but very small DIY. Everyone did their own thing. Um, and the fencing wasn't it wasn't perfect for um like youngsters, like cheeky little youngsters. So I moved um, and it didn't go well. She, first of all, was in a little field like on her own where she could just see two horses and she would just run up and down all day. Uh, in her stable, she'd just be rearing, she'd smack her head and just keep rearing and bucking. It was just awful. Let's see if I can insert some footage if I can find any. Um, and then we moved her to a bigger field, but we had to walk through two fields with horses in to get to her field which is obviously quite dangerous um and she just kept jumping the five bar gate to get in with the herd which was fine she could be in with the herd if she wanted to be but she would then get beaten up by the herd and had cuts all over her um so i think we were there like not long at all maybe a week and then moved to the yard that i'm at now and the moment that i moved there i was like oh god look, this is perfect she was so so settled like it was yeah it was really really good and i don't regret moving there i think it fits purpose However, um, she, because of the PSSM, I think she just needs better management. Um, I've been doing loads of research the last week, with, um, management about diet. And the main thing is like keeping things consistent, like having a routine. They love a routine. And the yard I'm at the moment is like assisted DIY. So all horses go out and come in at like different times. Uh, they all got fed at different times. So I think it will really suit Af to go onto a full livery yard, which is where she is moving to. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Start with the rugs. Alice is here, bless her. So we're folding all the rugs up. This is a trick I learned on TikTok, guys. I've just changed Alice's life. And make sure you tuck the little tail to strap the tail in. in. Okay. There you go. There you yeah. So we're going to sort out all of, basically all of this needs to come all of this like just little bits and bobs i'm gonna find places for that all of this there's more rugs in that box yeah all of that needs to come with me brilliant right let me set you up so you can watch all this Right, so we're not even like made a dent. Come and look at my tack cream. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> tack cream hasn't even really made a dent, but <laughs> I've got most of my rugs and stuff out. I didn't oh you god. Oh, see, so I think the rugs is worse. The fact that she's got like three, four rugs with her, and then I've still got all of those. That is just ridiculous. I've got. Oh no, I'm not. I thought I was missing a rug, but I'm not. I could be. Who knows? <laughs> Right. Oh gosh. Right, let's get sort this out. <laughs> Alice is moaning about the amount of coats I've got. I have three coats. <laughs> three These don't even make well that obviously one it's the one I use, but the other ones I don't even really use. <laughs> uh, the ones I use are in my car or I've got it on, my Ariat one, I live in this one. You're a hoarder. I am a hoarder. <laughs> I'm a horse hoarder. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the state of this. Also, my main concern is where I'm going to put all this when I get to the next yard, because I'm not going to have this tack room. So, yeah. <laughs> Go. So, so 
Come on, it's really not that bad. It's actually quite good. Okay, I think I'm going to spend that. These ones are going to be in. I don't ever wear them. Just put it in. All of the socks are inside. No, put it all in the bin. Okay. I'm not going to regret that. Okay. <laughs> Props. I mean, they look really baggy and big, so you could fall over. Is it? Not that they're me. I've emptied out my tag <laughs> Oh god, there's too much stuff. That box is a first aid box. Remind me to leave that at the top. <laughs> Never know when you might need that with that. Oh, the pink one. oh yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, let's empty all this into the car. So we've filled it all in there. I just need to sweepy sweep this out, but let's go. And oh, that is mine. Well done. Oh, and my little carrot. Should we sad if we leave that? Yeah. We'll grab the carrot. Okay, right. Let's take all this round and then we'll come back round. Oh, Lord, give me strength. I've got to fit all of this into the new yard. God knows how. I've not really got stories there, but never mind. <laughs> oh, God, they're going to regret letting me move, I think. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness me, that was so windy. Look at the state of me. Right, my plan now is to go and dump it all at the new yard, dump the trailer at the new yard, and then leave it till next week because it's so windy. I just don't think that I'm going to be able to. It's just so windy, I don't think I'm able to get. Um, it's all out it's gonna take me forever so it's next week's hands problem after not back for two weeks so by the way i'm just driving on the farm i'm not actually driving on the road um but i'll see you I might see when i get there if not i'll see you next week when i empty it all but it'll be seconds for you goodbye old friend i'm actually really sad that i'm leaving but I just got to think it's for good things it's for good things and at least i've not left on like a sour note i've left on a really good note and she was like, come back whenever. The problem is, is there's never any space here. So if I want to come back, I have to wait like 10 years. Never, ever coming down. Right guys, it's a new day. I think it's maybe two weeks after I originally vlogged <laughs> this move. I finally today came and emptied out my whole trailer. I didn't show you because I was losing the will to live. However, it's all sorted, so I'm now going to show you bits and bobs. So this is in the tack room. I'm not actually going to show you the tack room because, you know, safety. Um, but that's like miscellaneous stuff and show stuff, which <laughs> obviously I don't need. Uh, that is a medical box, which I definitely do need um, with like towels and stuff and pig oil and things. So I'm going to show you all of my stuff. I'm not actually going to show you the tack room because, you know, safety first. So that is like miscellaneous box of random stuff. 
um it's got like um my show gear well not actually my show gear but like show stuff in there things that basically i don't need that is a medical box which i definitely do need with towels pig oil in there um this is all like my hats and Afi's brushing roots and high visors and things like that we've got um her equilibrium massage pad her heat pad will also go here but obviously that's with her got some leather head collars um obviously roller and then down here that is like all for washing some prosecco because you never know when you might need some prosecco some guinness for ah for christmas obviously hay bowl hay bowl that i, I sometimes use i sometimes don't then got my ariat boots and then like my fucking dirty boot um and then in those drawers it's just random stuff boots and things at the bottom uh fly veils and gloves and scarf for me that is all like washing stuff the shampoos and stuff plus the temperature because i take every some shirt a lot um and then that is again like miscellaneous stuff and then i have got <laughs> hay nets in here and then old hair colors that still work um should i need them then look at this this actually wasn't my idea this was another liveries idea they have done it in here as well so i was like oh my god where did you get that from i need to do that so that is all my saddle pads and my uh, body protector and my air jacket. That is a bag full of random tack. Anyone else got like a bag full of random leather? Old bridal, she's got a new one, but you can keep it because I can't throw things away. Syrups for my dressage saddle, but I don't have that at the moment. Uh, random girths, because you never know what size you might need. And then another uh, body protector up there, which is like the one that I use day to day for my Charles Owen one. I'm going to show you around the facility so this is the barn this is Afi's little stable that i've just got ready for her bring her home they have got automatic drinkers but she um loves to dunk her hay so i've given her water as well just so she doesn't drown the drinker and these barns are actually getting uh deeply cleaned in like a week week and a half which is so exciting so they're gonna look sparkling not that they <laughs> look too shabby now um and then yeah just got all my special stuff outside this has got a few rugs <laughs> loads of coats my grooming bag in there and they have got this huge i say huge 20 by 40 indoor arena with mirrors and lights which is going to be absolutely lush in the winter well and in the summer because it rains a lot in england doesn't it and you walk up here look at this beautiful blue sky and this is the outdoor so this is like the jumping outdoor um so there's always jumps up in here you can obviously like put them down and, and um or put them up or whatever um but they so the course gets changed like every couple of weeks to a different course but the jumps are always left up here which is lovely and then these are winter paddocks and up there is a canter track an all-weather canter track but I'm not going to show you because well because I'm lazy actually guys down here there's a little god I'm out of breath literally how small this little hill is I need to sort my fitness out <laughs> down here is a horse walker which will come in very very handy I think this is what I'm most excited about I think it's the horse walker again that is all getting cleaned in a week's time which will be lush not that it particularly looks dirty it just needs a little sweep doesn't it but um they're gonna deep clean it that's why they haven't swept it but how good is that so she's been on walkers at holly's and at claire's so that's good um and then then i'm actually not going to show you anything else because well she's coming home so i'm then going to show you like her field well there's only her field left to show isn't there her field and everything um when i go and collect her which that vlog will be out in a couple of days, I think, um, because I've been really bad with this video. This video is so disjointed. There's literally bits and pieces everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm not talking. I found it really stressful moving. I'm not going to lie. Not even stressful. I've just got so much stuff. I found it really overwhelming. And I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? But it's all done. Um, so yeah, that is me all moved in i think that's all i need to say to you guys 
so yeah sorry that, that was very disjointed and i will see you in two days time i think bye